there's materials everywhere that can be reused or maybe just rethought of a little bit and repurposed into something else. The original idea was to demolish the old church and construct a new building with all new materials. But imagine how much space a 16,000 square foot church would take up in a landfill, which makes you think, why throw it away? You know, all these pieces of lumber can be reused exactly as they are, probably even in the exact same length that they are because this is a pretty standard sized building. So you take out the nails, put it back into a new building. Daniel Salmon's deconstruction business worked alongside Habitat for Humanity to harvest the building supplies. He estimates 80% of the structure will be recycled or reused. So this one's a, a little bit challenging because we have some very heavy and long steel trusses. We're definitely at the, the most critical and probably for me the most hair raising uh, part. Um, it's also just a lot of material. I mean, you're talking about probably 10,000 square feet of roof. Uh, to, to deconstruct and to try to salvage the wood. The contractor for the deconstruction says every time they do one of these projects, it exposes a story about a building which has been here a very long time. But he says just because it's being torn down doesn't mean it's going away. Well, not exactly. Yo, nails on a chalkboard. Most of the old materials will be sold or used in other building projects. But some will become part of the new building, which will take its spot. That building will house cancer patients as part of the American Cancer Society's Hope Lodge project. We'd like to be able to tie the new building back to the old building. And so we'll use some of those materials in some way. We're still not sure quite how, if it will be a floor or a wall, but some kind of a, of, of a recognition of, of the transition from a, 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 a place of worship to a, a place of healing. Those involved say there's usually a somber feeling when a building goes down. But in this case, it will find a new life. Ashton Goodell, Fox 13 News, Utah.